Wild Allen Project. All right, hey, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Kakudas, and the water Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving us the spirit of truth in these last days, which the world cannot receive. And as always, double honors to our apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, that taught us his truth, and do a well brought up thumb. Peace, love, and salutations to the Zakarni Ma'achim, which is the elders and the brothers standing stiffly for the names of Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, truth, and sincerity. And Shalom to the predestined elect scattered about the four corners of the earth. Predestined to be saved from the utter destruction that's going to primarily take place here in Babylon the Great, which is uh, spiritually Sodom and Egypt, known to you today as America. And I want to do a quick lesson. Okay, and I pray this lesson is um, edifying and exhorting, okay, to you younger brothers like myself, okay, that's, that's young in the faith. And um, most well, I'm able to title this lesson Have That Jonathan and David Love for the Brotherhood. Have that Jonathan and David love for the Aki, man. And the reason why I'm actually doing this lesson is because I'm just leaving the plantation in transit. And I could not help but to, as Elder Apostle Ramal, I always say, you know, press the button. I could not help but grab a few precepts and do this lesson because, you know, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, as you can see in the background, Yahweh Shai crowning the elect. That's the fulfillment of the greatest, uh, the second greatest law, man. The love of the brotherhood, man. The love of the brethren, man. All right, I believe in uh, First Peter's and Second Peter's. It says, "Seeing you have purified your souls by the by unfeigned love and the fervent love for the brotherhood, man. You know, roughly paraphrasing that. Unfeigned mean uh, not faking, man. True, sincere, and." The scriptures even speak about there is no greater love for a man to lay down his life for his friend. So every time we're doing this, this work and every time we go out to camp, which is the real work, we, guess what? Romans 12, we present our body as a living sacrifice. So that is the greatest love, man. Sacrificing yourself. You are the sacrifice, man, you know? And that's a, 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 a reasonable service, okay? A holy and acceptable sacrifice for Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Okay, because you're doing this not only for you, okay, and not only for the nation, but chiefly for your how about some y'all shine, man. You want to have that same love that you have for the Lord to the man that's next to you, okay? And that's what this, this truth is all about, man, the brotherhood, Hebrews 13 and 1. You ever notice, younger Akim, you know, like I said, I'm quoting script, scriptures, of course, but you ever notice, to your younger Akim, like myself, every time you're around Akim, brothers, you know, you around the older brothers, you around younger brothers, you ever notice how misery, you don't even think about the bills you got to get, <laughs> you got to get paid, you don't think about your chick at home, you don't think about nothing, man, when you're around the brothers, you know, only thing you're thinking about is the kingdom, you know, because we are the kingdom, man, but you want to have that Jonathan and David love, man, that what surpass a woman? You see? And that's the love that we have. That's the that's the passion that this truth okay requires, man. So I want to get this real quick. Alright, going into um 2 Samuel's all right, chapter 1 in the time of King David. And he was catching all type of hell and turmoil from uh, King Saul, who uh not only uh, uh envied King David's uh, pre uh, uh his fame that Yahweh Shai gave him, okay, his recognition. All right, as it is written, Saul has slayed his thousand, but King David is tens of thousands. But because he knew that Yahweh Bashmi al Shai was dealing directly with uh, King David. So I want to read this real quick from um, Jonathan, uh, King Saul's uh, son. This is um, 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 26. All right, and this is uh, King David speaking, and he reads, it's all good. I am in distress for thee, my brother, Jonathan. Very pleasant hast thou been unto me. And that's how you want to be in this truth. You want to be very pleasant, okay, to every brother. You want to treat every brother as if he was King David, man. You want to treat every brother as if he was Yahweh Shai. Because we are at war. You don't ever want to get it, you know, mixed up like you, you got a day off. You know days off in this truth, man. These demons don't sleep, so neither can we, you know? So you wanna have that very pleasant love, okay, towards every brother, man. 
in the camp, every brother, man, you know? You wanna show that appreciation, that gratitude, that servitude, that honesty, that humility, okay? The love, you wanna show the sacrifice, you wanna show the obedience, you wanna show the passion, the compassion, you wanna show the respect, okay? You wanna show these things, man, because these are attributes of a man of the Lord. So it says, I am in distress for thee, my brother Jonathan. Very pleasant hast thou been unto me. Thy love, okay, key word, thy love to me was wonderful. Okay, and this is why, you know, it, sometimes it get hard for brothers who deal with women or have certain issues or a job. Or, well, we all fighting, you know, we all fighting a good fight of faith, but because you know your woman always like who you on the phone with she think you cheating on her but no nah, you on the phone with her brother man and she like man you love these dudes more than you love me you damn right because what you want to have that jonathan and david love in this truth man that jonathan and david love is what fulfilling the second law that's great the, the, the second greatest law that how shai said he said to love thy neighbor as thyself man so when you're treating a brother as you treat you and greater than you, man, did not Yahweh side is the, the greatest spirit created from the Heavenly Father, the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, did not he come down in the likeness of sinful flesh and lay down his life for the sheep? As it is written, he is the good shepherd that layeth down his life for the sheep. As it is written, he humbled himself to the cross, despising the shame, seeing the glory set before him okay so you want to walk in that age hey, say let this same mind be in you man as it is in the mashiach all right so that's why the scriptures say the greater you are the more you humble yourself man we are all great man man you know but humble down and and, and, and tend to the sheep tend to the little ones that don't have it man. Okay, but um, not to go off, it says um, first, Second Samuel 1, verse 26. I am in distress for thee, my brother Jonathan. Very pleasant hast thou been unto me. Thy love to me was wonderful, passing the love of woman. Okay, so the love that you have for the brotherhood is supposed to surpass the love that you have for your woman, man. All right? And matter of fact, I believe Apostle Paul said, those that have women be as if you had none. Because Apostle Paul himself didn't have a woman, but what? His zeal, okay, for Yahweh Bashmi was so he was so zealous, okay. All right, that what? In one of his letters, okay, he written that it would be better if you be as him, okay. That you didn't have a woman. That your your whole foc focus, all right, in servitude was on the body, on the ministry, man. Okay. All right, and in 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 building, man. You know, building the building the kingdom, man. You know all right so that's it on that i want to go and, and this is the uh, importance of me actually wanting to bring out this lesson through the spirit and power yahweh by shamel shai because it's going to come a time where you know spiritually speculating you know we don't know who we don't know the scriptures speak about second Ezra seven one man shall enter in at a time now the lord can't have it to where you know the whole camp be in a predicament you know okay well we all are, are, are call on name yahweh by shai Okay, like uh, uh, the three holy children, you see? But you always got to remember that the Lord is not going to put much on you that you can't bear. Okay? And it's for his glory. Okay? It's for him to get glorified. So the Lord ain't going to leave you out there, bro. He's going to make way for you to escape so that he can be glorified. But these are the times that you want to cherish because... We are living in these times right now as we speak, man. And you wanna, you know, make sure you're doing everything acceptable and pleasing to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai by treating your neighbor as yourself, okay? Because these times is coming, 2nd Ezra 15 and 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, you see? A man shall desire to go into a city, and here it is, you know, we have brothers that live right down the street from brothers, man. You know, you got brothers that live, you know, a few blocks down, okay, all right? 
you know, a brother might live in this county, you might live in Jeffrey County, you know, the brother might live in, uh, you know, Johnson County, whatever, you know, but, you know, I'm just saying, but what, it's, we, we all in the same city, man, so while we do have the time to uh, uh, do the work together, why not build together, why not grow together, why not love each other, and, 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 and uh, 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 spend as much time as we can with each other before there is no more time to uh, uh, spend together in this, in this flesh, man, to where you have to, uh, 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 uh uh, what scripture say in Ephesians 6 uh, put on the whole armor because we at war you know you want to be you want to be around the brotherhood as much as you can because see how side was not alone all the time man and uh, the brother Ashima Kemp you know the head of the camp he always mentioned that man you know through the spirit through the spirit and power Yahweh Ashima Shai he always say you know Yahweh Shai was never was not alone all the time and that's that's true but he was always around the disciples man because this time is coming. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. You see? Why? Because he saw Edom is getting ready to come down with great wrath according to Revelations 12 and 12 because you know that he have a short time. And you don't want to get caught out there in that judgment because you didn't do something that was so simple of keeping the commandments, which was loving, loving your neighbor as you love yourself. How can one say he loved the most high when a man that's right in front of him, okay, he can't, he can't love or respect. He can't see himself humbling down to and, and doing for him, man. And that man doing everything in his power to make sure you're good. But you can't return the favor. So that's why the Lord, help us from Shai, is gonna sift the house of Israel, man. Okay? This is about the body of Yahweh Shai. But that's all I wanted to bring out, man. I'm in transit, man. Lord's will is edifying to the elect. I know I could have brought out more precepts. I know I could have did more, but, um, you know, this was just all organic, you know. And um, Lord's will is edifying to the elect. Call hello, y'all, by some y'all, shy, by some y'all, Double honors to our apostles, others, a great millstone that taught us his truth and do it well. Peace, salutations, and love to the Zakarni Wa Achim. And shalom to the elect, man. Shalom.